Yo, hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So yesterday I had the best day in Wales at Revolution Bike Park and that video is going to be online tomorrow. So you can watch us riding huge crazy jumps, me and Harry Main. We had a sick day, it was really cold, but it was so much fun. Just those jumps there are massive. I haven't ridden them before, that big line. So keep an eye out for tomorrow for that video. Today I've been in my flat all day and I really wanted to film a bike check for a while on this super, super custom jump bike that I got built up and designed and everything for the Red Bull video which got released recently. So I kind of haven't had a chance to talk about that bike because it was a secret all year. I was filming, like had to make this film, we made a special bike for it. It was a secret and now I want to do a bike check about that bike. So I kind of thought it would, make it would make sense to go to like a sick location to film it but just being at home actually and just doing this like a raw bike check video all in one take for you guys just literally talk through the bike is probably going to make more sense. So. I'm here, it's in my living room, and now I want to talk about it. So I'm going to set the camera up here and sort of run you through what I love about this bike. So the colour scheme, first of all, I worked with a company in America called Made Rad by Tony and we've made this like candy red fade that goes all the way to pink at the back, which is unreal. There's glitter in the paint as well, so you can see there's been like a few scuffs and scratches from working away and riding and doing tricks and it, the bike took its toll and what I found was like my girlfriend's nail varnish with all the glitter in is actually perfect to touch it up so it's quite funny that the glitter kind of made it easy to fix even though I thought it was going to be the world's most expensive paint to make look good again so it's the same geometry the same bike the same frame that I worked on with Marin almost a year ago now that's pretty much going into production now which is sick however it looks way more insane i think this is the best looking bike i've ever seen and in the video it looks unreal i've got the orange forks up front which are the fox 831 fork they're only orange because i'm sponsored by fox they're still pretty much the same fork you can buy and they feel incredible they are pretty expensive but to get that level of like suspension and performance is the best so i wouldn't really compromise there um I've got race face carbon 6C cranks. These are 165 mil long. They're a pound lighter than the cranks I had before. That's why I love carbon cranks. And I put like skateboard grip tape on the top of each side. So when I catch tail whips and things, you don't slip off the cranks too much. I'll show you a close up video of them as well. Um, the wheels are Halo Chaos rims and a Halo DJD Superdrive hub, which as you can hear, sounds awesome. Um, the front hub's called a wide boy hub, which you can't run a front brake, but what it means is, because I don't have to have disc mount bolts, the hub is wider, which means the triangle your spokes make is bigger, and that means the wheels are stiffer. So if you're a science boffin, you may take that information on board and put it into your computers, check to see that I'm correct, and you will find that I am. So super strong front wheel, sick sounding back wheel. Um, the whole bike, I thought I should get this out of the way, the whole bike weighs 10.2 kilograms, so it's almost under 10 kilos, and I really want to get it under 10 kilos, but this is a really light jump bike. I run tubeless tires, I run carbon parts, the frame's really light, so for me, doing the tricks I want to do, it's super important to have a light bike, so 10.2 kilos is actually really light. Um, the pedals are Gusset Nitro pedals, and I'm soon going to swap over to the S2 pedals, which I've been working on with Gusset, so pretty excited that's going to bring the weight down a little bit more i've got a gusset fat jack pivotal saddle with the same seat post so you can adjust the angle of it and i kind of run it a little bit higher these days i used to have my seat slammed but for doing bar spins it helps to have your seat up a bit and this seat's this saddle's nice and fat so you can pinch it with your knees and just keep slinging the bees halo h block tires um they're pretty light and really grippy what else have I got? I haven't really planned this. I'm just doing it in one. Gusset S2 bars and Gusset S2 stem. The stem is pretty much the lightest stem I've ever witnessed. I run my bars cut down to 730 mil wide, which is way narrower than most downhill riders, but again, for like bar spins and a lot of tricks, compromising and having a more narrow is not a bad shout. ODI Census grips with ODI bar ends. Um, I have got also a Shimano XTR brake, which as you can see is really cool looking. It's light, it's got a carbon lever, it's got a tiny light brake caliper at the back, 160mm rotor, because so, you don't need massive rotors for dirt jump bikes, you're not 
actually trying to stop on the edge of a mountain, like often the courses are on mountains, but one break's enough, a small break's enough, keep the weight down. The chain is gusset and it's black. It took me ages to find a black chain and yeah, gusset just said, yeah, we've got loads in stock, so why don't you have one of ours? And I was like, thank you. So that looks really cool. Um, I'm sure I'm missing something extremely important. I've talked about the forks, I've talked about the frame, I've talked about the wheels. Um, I run, I've put quite a lot of tie bolts on my bike and I've talked about that in another video. So the rear axle bolts are titanium. You can get them off a website called Pro Bolt, which I just bought them. They're not too expensive. You can choose your color. They weigh literally half as much, just as strong. Um, I want to know what you all think about the color. Like we've got orange, we've got candy red, we've got pink going on. We've got my WD40 colors. It's definitely most flavors that featured in the rainbow however i think it's amazing and especially for a video because i worked for ages on that red bull video and to have a bike that stands out is pretty rad i love black stuff when everything's all black it looks stealthy looks cool but you only get one chance to make a sick video so marin and i came up with this color scheme and i think it's amazing so let me know what you think because there may be a chance in the future to kind of work on another bike like this because having that relationship with a paint shop and a frame company, all the parts moving together, we could get way more weird. So the options are there. Um, yeah, so the comments are very, very valuable to me. I want to know what ideas you have. People like Brandon Semenuk and stuff sometimes run insane colorways, like for Crankworks, signature bikes. So maybe next year at Crankworks, I could work on the most ludicrous color scheme with them. But yeah, that is the bike. Like I say, it's 10.2 kilos. Um, I want to get it under 10 kilos. Like I say, I've got some different bits coming which might be able to do that, but for me, it's the best looking bike I've ever ridden. I'm super lucky to have it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep, hang on to it because as much as I'm sure someone would love to buy it off me or you'd all comment and say, do a giveaway, we want your bike. This is special to me, so I'm gonna hang on to this one. But you can expect some massive giveaways coming up. I have something planned which I think is going to trump anyone else's giveaway you've ever seen so watch this space. Um, that is my Marin Alcatraz jump bike. Super custom, custom forks, custom frame, tie bolts, custom lots of things. I'm sure the list goes on and on and on but I hope you like it. I'm super super into it and I also hope you enjoyed today's video. It was simple, it was a bike check. I did it all in one take which I hope you appreciate. Um, this was my first attempt, so I got all my parts right, I think. Feel free to comment if I've messed it up. And I'm going to do more of these. So I've been excited to talk about that for a long time. It's online now. You can learn about that bike and hopefully see it at some contests next year. And if you haven't seen the Red Bull video, I'll put the link in the description below because I'm super proud of what I did on it this year. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to watch me ride a mountain bike with no tyres on, click here. And if you want to just subscribe to my channel and see more cool stuff, click here. Thanks a lot guys and see you soon. Tomorrow's video, Revolution Bike Park, check it out.